hello guys once again welcome back to the automation revolution in this video we are going to learn about fixed set point using seven starter software so you can see in our application uh, we have this conveyor belt and uh, we have connected ac induction motor and we can vary the speed uh, from this ac drive so why we need a fixed set point so uh, some of the application in industries we need uh, different rpm at certain distance so you can see here from the initial stage uh, to first proximity sensor uh, we need 200 rpm and after uh, sensing this first proximity sensor i want to increase uh, speed or you can decrease the speed and uh, for this uh, area we need 500 rpm after sensing the second uh, proximity sensor we want to increase the speed 800 rpm or you can decrease the speed so based uh, based on the distance uh, we, we want to uh, vary the speed so for that we are using fixed set point so these are the proximity sensor which is giving digital signal to a uh, control module for the drive that uh, we will see in fixed set point so let's see how we can configure in Siemens starter so here we have Siemens starter software and I have uh, configured Siemens G120 AC drive and after configured uh, this drive uh, we will switch into set point channel and from there we will get fixed set point option here uh, you can get two options direct and binary so first we will see uh, direct option here we are getting uh, four by connector so here you can uh, connect digital input uh, so you can go for further interconnection and from there you can assign digital input so right now i will assign digital input one here once again i will assign digital input uh, two with second connector here i will assign third digital input and here i will assign fourth digital input So uh, when I will enable this bit, so that time uh, you can see here we can give a fixed feed set point. So you can vary uh, the speed. So right now I have given uh, 100, 200, 300 and 400. You can give as per your application or desired output. So when this uh, bit will enable, so that time uh, this uh, fixed set point will uh, send signal to main set point and when uh, two input will be on so that time the speed will added into main set point so that con uh, total will be at uh, one and 100 and 200 total 300 uh, rpm will get so when uh, we are enabling uh, four input digital input so that time we will get total summation of this uh, fixed uh, speed rpm so that we'll see in practical application second option in binary uh, we will get total 16 combination uh, using this uh, digital input so in that case when uh, we will enable first bit so that time we will get 100 rpm when we will enable second uh, bit so that time we can uh, get as per this hexadecimal so this is binary uh, options from there uh, we can get total 16 combination uh, for this rpm so first we will uh, configure this direct option and now i will go online first and uh, you can see i have assigned four digital inputs and here i have given this fixed set point 100 200 300 and 400 rpm and here i have given main set points 1070 that is the parameter number for main set point now now we will see uh, in drive practical application how it will work so let's see so after assigning fixed set point from the starter software uh, we will see practically in Siemens G120 AC drive so these are the digital input connected with control module of the AC drive and uh, we have connected induction motor uh, with this AC drive now first I will enable uh, drive then uh, I will enable first digital input for the first uh, fixed set point. So this is the digital input one. 
so as per the fixed set point we are getting 100 rpm and now i will enable second digital input so we will get total 100 plus 200 300 rpm so it will be summation now i will enable third digital input so we will get total 600 rpm as per the fixed set point and when i will give fourth input so total we will get 1000 rpm so continuously uh, this fixed set point is adding rpm and finally we will get main set point after addition so now i will enable disable so this is how we can configure fixed set point uh, you can also uh, set binary uh, combination so we will get total uh, 16 uh, different speed and uh, from this four digital uh, input you can configure uh, different uh, fixed set points in binary also so thank you very much for watching the video